Time to check on what's going on in the arts in Megan's here this morning. How are you today? Hi, I'm great. Thank you. Good. Brought a guest with you, did you? I sure did. So I have Sandra here with me today from the Brazos Valley Symphony Orchestra. Hi, Sandra. How are you? Hi, I'm great. Thanks for having me. Good. Welcome. For the first time you've been with us, but you've been with the Brazos Valley Symphony Orchestra for a while. So you got a concert coming up. Tell us a little bit about that. Yes, we're really excited. It's our season finale. It's the Texas Tenors celebrate Broadway and America with the Brazos Valley Symphony Orchestra. It's on April 23rd in the Rudder Auditorium at 5 p.m. We're bringing them back. Everybody's very, very excited about it. It's going to be our season finale, but it's also going to be where we're going to reveal the new season for 23-24, so we're excited about that as well. You know, in the last couple of years, it really has the Brazos Valley Symphony Orchestras. You've spread out. You've started doing some other types of programs than what you've done in the past. So people ought to be pretty excited about that. How long does the the program last, the entire program? Um, Some of the classicals last about an hour and a half. But this one, it's a Pops concert, so it'll last two hours. So so this ends the season, but probably a lot of people, if for no other reason, would know the Brazos Valley Symphony Orchestra because of Derby Days, which is really an event that's won a national award. It's been around for a long time. Yes, and thank you for asking about it because it's our next event coming up after Texas Tenors. It's on May 6th, and it's our fundraiser where 